What to watch out for in uh, protecting yourself from when buying a property pagdating sa person? Ideally, don't transact with the owner not knowledgeable you haven't met. Sometimes, it can be packaged as the property is super good deal, super mura, you're being pressured to buy it, and this is the SPA. Kahit wag mo na meet yung owner, that's okay. It's more careful to meet with the owner kahit over Zoom and that they have full knowledge that their property is being sold to you and you're buying it. Hi friends, this is Carl D, your property guru, and today I'm gonna talk about things to watch out for when buying your property. So I have siguro mga five to six tips on what to check when you're buying your property. So there are three major categories when you check a property. It's person, meaning the owner, paperwork, the title and all, I will share with you. And number three is the process. For number one, the person, the owner, what do you need to watch out for when you're checking your property? First, ideally, you are speaking to the owner. If you're, let's say, talking to a broker, eventually you will progress to want to talk to the owner, be it a face-to-face -face or lately, kahit Zoom, pwede naman. So talk to the owner personally on title. You want to make sure kasi na the owner knows that the property is being sold. Hindi lang siya binenta ng kamag-anak or kapitbahay. And number two, if it's spouses, you also want to have the spouse beside you to make sure that they both know that the property is being sold. If if it's a corporation, it's important that uh, you have a meeting with everybody in the corporation. Yes, quite tedious, but it's safer to know that everybody's aware that the property is being sold to you at a certain price. One challenge, if the owner is overseas, so yun yung medyo mas challenging. Kahit overseas yan at kahit may SPA, ideally you want to at least meet the person who owns the property. Pwede over Zoom. The spouses, you talk it over, now you are the one buying and they're the one selling and you are all in agreement with the process and the price and then they're assigning the SPA to sign the paperwork. As a strategy, even if there's SPA, you also want to, kahit papano, have a document that they sign off, send to you, just for your records that they are acknowledging and agreeing to the sale of their property and that they have an SPA named this person to sign the deed of sale for them. So that's number one category, the person behind the property, the owner. What to watch out for in uh, protecting yourself from when buying a property, pagdating sa person. Ideally, don't transact with the owner not knowledgeable you haven't met. Sometimes, it can be packaged as the property is super good deal, super mura, you're being pressured to buy it, and this is the SPA. Kahit wag mo na meet yung owner, that's okay. It's more careful to meet with the owner kahit over Zoom and that they have full knowledge that their property is being sold to you and you're buying it. Sir Carl, what if the property is nakapangalan sa magkakapatid and you're talking to the eldest who's in charge? Sabi niya siya daw in charge. If it's magkakapatid, you have to meet with all the magkakapatids, you have to meet with everybody who owns the property and at some point they have to sign in the contract either as witness to make sure everybody is knowledgeable and nobody will run after you three four five years down the road that they are not knowledgeable about the sale